take on the Bryce Harper Hunter Strickland saga because baseball is electric again because somebody charged the mound so now people give a fuck about baseball and it's fantastic I enjoy it I don't think baseball should turn into hockey but hey if once every six weeks uh, three or four times a year some haymakers are thrown fantastic definitely fantastic for me because the content's hot uh the page views are up the clicks are up the video views are up people are gonna watch this shit and listen to this shit uh because there's haymaker stone so fantastic draws out draws eyes from outside the game onto the game and, and honestly anything bryce harper does is uh electric electric that's why I think that's partly why I'm on the Bryce Harper team of the Harper versus Trout argument. It's really got nothing to do with their playing abilities. They're both two of the best in the game for the next, like, two decades. But uh, Bryce is just way more fun, uh, partly because he's a dick. So, you know, this isn't like a knock on Trout. He's just too good of a guy, too nice of a guy. Not fun to watch. Sorry. That might have something to do with him playing uh, for the Angels. Don't really watch him. And... uh, you know, when you watch Harper, it's like just way more exciting. So we're definitely Team Harper. But let's uh, let's dive into this fight uh, because this is fantastic. And this is not like your average charge the mound dude throwing fists. There's so much behind this, and I keep learning more about it uh, every day. And let's see. So this happened like two days ago from the time I'm. this is going to get posted, I think. Uh, but you watch the video and there's just there's so much going down here. You have to watch it like 200 times. It's like one of those uh, really complicated movies that you have to watch like 15 times before you realize everything that happened in this, which is weird for like this fight, because obviously the first 10 times you watch this, your eyes are just on Harper Strickland. But everything else that happened around this fight was fantastic. So let's uh, let's watch. Here's what we got to do first. We have to watch. How this all started, because you need some background on the flourishing relationship between two good friends, Bryce Harper and Hunter Strickland. Yes, I'm being sarcastic. These two dudes do not like each other. So let's check. Let's check out why. So this is. Uh, I don't know when this one was from. I don't have a date. I'm not looking it up. But this is. I think this is like 2014 or something. So Bryce got into this one and just straight dicked one. Out of the park, right field. Deep upper deck in DC. Uh, walk off. And yeah, this is old because look at those DC Nats uniforms. Wow, that one was deep. So yeah, I'd be a little upset. But we're not done yet. That's home run number one. This happened more than once, twice. This one's bad. Yeet. Yeah, heads up in the cove over there, banana boat. This is this is great. Look at that stare down. <laughs> and Vaskersian's commentary is fantastic. I'm not sure if I'm going to include that in the video here, but unreal. Yeet, that one's out of here. The stare down around the bases is just unbelievable. Oh, uh, so here we go. Here's the fight. Now let's break this one down. Yep. Helmet toss, couple fists, lands one, lands one, team comes in here. So, <laughs> oh, jeez. Look at that hair. All right, this is fantastic. But So we need to break this one down a little bit because there's a lot going on here. So let's, uh, let's pull this up again. I got a better one here. Um, so first, first things first, the helmet toss. Now, <laughs> a lot of opinions surrounding the helmet toss. Like, is it fucked up to throw your helmet at a guy? Here's my take. What's fucked up is throwing 98 miles an hour at somebody. That a baseball at 98 miles an hour that'll that'll sting you a little bit. And fun fact, I heard I can't confirm this, but I've heard it from I think two people said this. That was the hardest pitch 
Hunter Strickland has thrown his entire career. So this dude is fully shook. Uh, fully shook by Bryce Harper. Now, that's this guy needs some serious help. Because like I said, that happened in 2014. It's 2017. So obviously this dude's been losing sleep over what Bryce Harper did to him three years ago. That's not healthy, man. You should really see somebody about that. Maybe like a team doctor if they have like a mental doctor or something. Because that's messed up. If you're coming back three years later and plunking this dude, and I don't know what's happened in between then. It's got to be something because Bryce knew immediately what was about to happen. Everyone on the field, which we'll get to, everyone on the field had this in their mind. This was a possibility to happen. And a lot of people weren't happy about it. So, so the helmet toss. I, I mean, it's a weird move. Um, I think the helmet did slip. It didn't. He wasn't trying to throw at the first base. I imagine trying to throw a helmet is kind of funky. It's, a, it's just a weird weight if you're holding it by the, the bill of the helmet. Um, I would have loved to see him like plunk a kneecap with the helmet. That would have been fantastic. Fair game, in my opinion. You're throwing a baseball at me. Here's what I think should happen, by the way. Um, we should go full Thunderdome. Okay, you know that dude that sits in the back box now that holds the replay headphones? I think that dude should have, or maybe just the umpire. The umpire can handle this, right? So if a dude gets plunked in, you know, the umpire should immediately toss the batter a baseball. Now, it's up to the batter's discretion whether or not that was an intentional beanball or one just got away. So we should leave it up to him to decide. Now, the pitcher should have to remain in the circumference of the mound, he should have to stay on the dirt, and this batter should come up to the edge of the dirt and say, here we go, buddy. Here it comes. And you should get to toss one at him. You hit him, you hit him, you don't, whatever. Take your base. Thunderdome. That's the only way to make this even. There's so much. I mean, we can get into how dumb it is that they suspend pitchers for six games and they suspended Harper for three. Uh, it, got, it got lowered to two games. But so Harper's going to miss 18 innings. This guy's going to miss three innings. Real dumb, but I think everyone knows that's pretty dumb. But it should definitely be evened out. I mean, so the umpire needs to toss Bryce a baseball and say, here you go, man. If you want to let him have it, let him have it. I think that'd be just electric. So let's check this out again. The helmet toss, real bad uh, play. History. And Ooh, right in the Harper. hip. That sounded bad, What's too. Here they go. Oh, I love it. All right, so first, you can see Strickland. Lane's a pretty good one. Now, when you you got to slow it down. You slow it down. It was an open open hand kind of slap. Weird. I don't know. But then Bryce does get one in. Bryce Bryce lands a good right hand, and you can see like that he broke the bill of Strickland's cap. Like in the slow mo pick, you see the cap like being broken and got him like right here. Post game interviews, no one was really marked up. So, but for a baseball fight, like there's some pretty good pretty good uh, punches land. You don't really see that too often. Looked like Strickland might have landed the first one. Bryce ah, and the whole there. team here just this is great. Bryce just missed with the right hook, and then here comes this is everybody. Great. All right, so what else we need to see here? Probably the biggest controversy. This is name. Most people are, aren't talking about Harper and Strickland. They're talking about Buster Posey. Now, why would they be talking about Buster Posey? Good question. Let's check it out. Uh, let me get back here. <laughs> now, if you watch. The pitch being thrown. Okay, so typically, you know, a pitcher beans a guy. If he starts going to the mound, number one, the umpire's usually out there, but the umpire's not going to do shit. Number two, it's the catcher's job. Everybody knows this. If you've played any any level of even high school ball, whatever. It's the catcher's job to make sure that that hitter does not get to the mound, right? So let's, uh, let's watch Buster Posey. Do just that. Let's see his attempt at making sure that nobody gets to the mound here. Oh, just chilling. Oh, yeah, that looks like fun. Buster, how's the view for... Oh, let me get a jog out there. Yeah, let me get... Oh, no, nope, I'm going to get behind the team here. <laughs> so he's just... no. He's not interested. There's a lot of different takes on why that might be. Uh, number one, I think Buster knows that he's made of glass. And if he gets hit by like a flying butterfly in the middle of this, he's going to be out for eight weeks. So you can see, like, he starts taking that half ass jog out to the mound, and the team's rushing. He's like, whoa, too many moving parts here. Can't do it. So he gets out of the way. Now, <laughs> the first instinct is, wow, Buster Posey's a real bitch. Real bitch teammate move there. 
But um, the more you watch this and, you, and the more you see and hear the reactions from the rest of the team, I think my take here is that nobody likes Strickland because nobody really ran to his defense too much. The, the <laughs> and Buster just like, he knew it was coming. He didn't give a fuck. And uh, if you look closely, Buster called. This is another reason why Buster Posey has, I don't want to say has the right to sit back there because you should definitely get out there and get some arms around Harper. But the reason he... he is able to have beef here. Um, number one, he called a changeup, and the dude threw a 90 mile on a fastball. So if that ball doesn't hit Harper, or for some reason fades back over the plate, or it misses a spot, and Buster's sitting there looking change up, and he throws 98 miles an hour, it's going off his mask, and Buster Posey's on the three year DL again. So that's a fucked up move. Not happy there. Number two, the Nationals have a guy named Max Scherzer, and you know they've got everyone else too, but if you're going to retaliate against the Giants and you're you're going to be a hitter, it's probably going to be Buster Posey. So Buster's first instinct was probably like, "Fuck, dude, I'm definitely wearing 96 to the ass tomorrow," and that's not a fun thing to do. So I understand he's him being upset, and if everyone really hates Strickland, I don't, I don't want to go as far as to say I'm for them not come and do his protection but i think buster's got to give a little more of a half-ass effort like just just stay right behind harper let harper get like one two hooks in and then take him down so it doesn't look like you're you're being a total bitch but you're letting him get his hits in so that that was just wild and then let me see if we can find the clip here of uh you gotta see the best hit from this entire fight and it's when <sighs> michael morse and jeff samarja collide both running to the mound full speed fantastic collision so much hair everywhere but i i just i loved everything about this throwdown here uh the giants stink and uh the nationals rake I always it's, it's weird how it works out like that it seems to be these two teams having a problem with each other so hunter strickland dude get some help if hunter if you're watching this man reach out for some help because there's no way that some dude taking you yak Two years ago, I know it was brutal. He looks you right in the dead ass in the eyes and was like, fuck you, dude. I just hit that into the cove. Um, and doing that twice is definitely a brutal move. But it's a Bryce move, just electric. And when you're Bryce, dude, you're the best player in the game. Don't at me about that. Um, do your thing, man. But yeah, the suspensions got handed out today. It's still a messed up situation how the pitchers are going to get a six-game suspension. He's going to miss two, three innings of... Uh, potential pitching and harper's gonna miss originally it was gonna be 27 innings now it's cut down to 18 which is, i think that's what it was three to two maybe it got moved from four to three whatever but it's still messed up i mean you know finally i think this is the first year where you're seeing more opinions kind of up that alley of like this is kind of messed up how pitchers can do whatever the hell they want they've got the 98 mile an hour baseball throwing at people and i mean this this extends to like the whole bat flip conversation you know like it's just it's not it's not an equal battle on what pitchers can do versus what hitters can do to protect themselves I, even joe madden this was phenomenal i think everyone loves joe madden um I, so they asked him about the fight or whatever and he was like i don't blame harper dude these dudes are throwing like 98 mile on our fastballs at people so hey he said he said he tells his guys hey if you got to go out to the mound <laughs> do your thing if not go to first base i think that's fantastic it's a grown-ass man so yeah you want to throw 98 at me i'm gonna come charging at you you're lucky if i leave my bat at the plate to be honest with you i wish i had a baseball it's just so dumb. These pitchers, are, they're not held accountable. And in the interest of full disclosure here and crediting my opinion even more, I think, I was a pitcher my whole life. I pitched in college. So I usually take the pitcher's, uh, pitcher's side on just about everything. I have a pitcher strike zone. I, I'm a pitcher guy. That's just who I am. But I, it's, it's clear as day that it's a messed up situation and it's not equal. I don't know how to fix it. Suspend pitchers longer. Uh, you know, when you start beating guys... I, Something's got to be done about that because, it, I, it, dude, that's a, that's a deadly weapon. Like, if you were in the streets and you threw and you had a 98 mile fastball and you threw a fastball at somebody and you fucked somebody up, I bet you could make a good case that that was assault with a deadly weapon. It's really cool. It's like dudes who are like black belts in Taekwondo. Like, if you fuck somebody up on the street, like, you could be considered a deadly weapon because you're so skilled. 
really went off on that one. I don't know where that one came from. But it's messed up. But whatever. Bryce Harper, it's fucking electric content. Love it. Love every second of it. Hunter Strickland's probably a bitch. Uh, you got the post-game interviews you can go check out. But between all of that, hilarious fight. Buster Posey chilling back. Nobody likes Strickland. That's my opinion. I don't know if that's actually the case. Or Buster's just like the... Uh, he, it wouldn't surprise anybody, I don't think, if Buster was just like a real bitch boy. Uh, someone tweeted that Buster Posey is probably the kid in high school that had his parents come pick him up from a party because someone brought out a six-pack of beer. I think that's probably pretty accurate. I don't hate Posey, but that just seems like the kind of guy he is. But it's whatever. So he was he wanted no part of that. Actually, they flashed the dugout, and who else wanted no part of that? Well, really, the whole team. Nobody really jumped too quickly, which is odd. That just kind of makes you think that nobody likes Strickland. But uh, Bumgarner in the dugout was like, no, nah, nah, I'm having none of this. Nope. Just sat in the dugout. Like, everyone hops over the railing, and he kind of <laughs> – you see him go down this – go turn around. Like, he was hanging up on the railing, turns around. He's like, I'm just going to take the steps. <laughs> I'll meet you guys out there. Head out there. I'll be out there in five. Like, that That was just hilarious. But he's, he's banged up a little bit because he's a jackass and got hurt on a motorcycle, dirt bike, whatever. But uh, good fight. Hope you guys enjoyed it. There's my take.